welcome to the Tangible News at 7th period. I'm Mackenzie Newell and I love manatees. And I'm John Barton. Today we'll take an in-depth look at the economic status of Fiji and its agricultural industry. On Heritage.org's 2012 list of the freest economic countries in the world, Fiji is ranked down at 105 out of 179 and is considered to be mostly unfree. Fiji's government does a fair amount of spending, ranking 51 out of the same 179 countries, making their government somewhat larger than most others. This would make starting a business more difficult in Fiji. The top income tax in Fiji is 31%, compared to the United States' 35% top tax rate. We now go out to our field reporter, Alex Zima, in the field. Well, usually, this field would be filled with workers tending and maintaining these crops. However, they all left. Fiji has suffered a major loss in their skilled worker force. 61% of their skilled workers either emigrated or gone abroad as guest workers after the coup in 1987. That's why I don't have lead in my Zeppelin. Alex, you just mentioned the large loss of skilled Fijian labor. Why are so many laborers leaving? Well, John, the labor market is pretty weak. In 2008, Fiji passed an Employment Relations Act, which somewhat improved labor conditions. However, labor regulations remain rigid, and an efficient labor market is not yet fully developed. How hard is it to start up a business out there? I've heard some of the locals describe the process as time-consuming and costly, so it's pretty difficult. All right, thanks for the update, Alex. We now go live to our expert analyzer, Scott Higgins, from the Analyzer 5000. Thank you, Mackenzie. As you can see, the GDP of Fiji has greatly increased over the last 50 years. On its own, this graph makes it look like Fiji has a promising economy. However, if we add another country like Ethiopia, you can see that its economy is relatively low performing. Compared to the United States, Fiji looks almost insignificant. Let's take a look at how hard it is to start up a business. Fiji's startup cost for a business is a whopping 25.1% of Fiji's GNI, or gross national income. In comparison, the U.S. has a startup cost of just 1.4% of their GMI. Another huge issue with the agriculture industry in Fiji is that the fact that Fiji is a fairly isolated island. It is hard to transport food, or any other good for that matter, to or from Fiji, making the transportation of crops costly and impractical. <laughs> Thanks, Scott, for that awesome report. Now we take a look into the deep history of Fiji. Fiji's government is a republic loosely based off of that of the United Kingdom because it is a former colony of the UK. It gained its independence in 1970. Fiji also has a dark past. You see, Fiji used to be known as the Cannibal Isles, for the Fijians used to be cannibals. One chief, Chief Ratu Udra Udra, was reported to have eaten more than 872 people over the course of his lifetime. He apparently ate every part of the person he could, preserving what he couldn't eat in one sitting for consumption later. Okay. Well, that's clearly a detracting factor. Anyway, I'm Mackenzie Newell, and I still love manatees. We'll see you next time on Tangible News. You stay classy, Miss Youngblood's class. One chief. Chief Ratu Udra Udra was reported to have eaten more than 872. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do that to me, Alex. You were about to crack up. I had it until you did that. You said that so intentionally. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to keep a straight face, and it's hard enough because I'm saying Udra Udra. And then you're over there like, like about to be like burst. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Fiji used to be known as the king. That's the way the door shuts. You see, Fiji used to be known as the king of laughing. That's why you don't kill the golden goose. Ah! <laughs> Are you serious? That would be funny. Whoa, he's a cannibal. <laughs> John, paper's not good for you. Trees hate you. Actually, we got that on camera. <laughs> That's how you squeeze the lemon. <laughs> It's not even being now, it's them. The apples don't fall far from the tree. You see, Fiji used to be known as... <laughs> John, that was you. That's the way you run over a manatee. <laughs> Use that one. I like that one. For the Fijians used to be cannibals. Watch.
I got so much further. Hold on. You can say just like say the cheese. Like everyone else. Now talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way you trim the hedges. You see, Fiji used to be known as the Cannibal Isles, for the Fijians used to be cannibals. One chief, Chief Ratu, trim. He <laughs> <laughs> got so much further than the last time. That's why I don't have lead in my Zeppelin. But the Fijians used to be cannibals. One chief, Chief Ratu Udra Udra, was reported. And that's why Merlin has a beard. He apparently ate every part of the person he could, preserving what he couldn't finish in one sitting for <laughs> So close! Alex, you're so, so close. close! That wasn't even the funny part, oh, I was so funny gosh. about that. Can I, I, I need, I need, can I, <laughs> on the floor? Like, a hand left, and he was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And that's why Fiji is slicker than deer guts on a doorknob. Door One chief, Chief Ratu Utra Utra, was reported to have eaten more than 872 people over the course of his life. <laughs> I got through it, dang it. Was reported to have eaten more than 872 people over the course of his life. I can't say it. Sorry, That's why people here in Fiji play with basketballs as sharp as a basketball. You see, <laughs> just call him Jim. Jim. <laughs> Jim. Jim. That's why Fiji workers leave fields like wallpaper leaves walls. One chief, Chief Ratu Udra Udra, was <laughs> You say it. Alex, turn around, Alex. Back. At least go turn back. around. Go back behind your face. Just stand there. Fiji workers are leaving because the chips are down. One chief, Chief Ratu Udra Udra, was <laughs> We're going to see how long this thing's going to be. Like, how long this <laughs> Seems like conditions elsewhere are better than a slap in the face with a wet fish.